What's up guys, here we are. I'm at the Disney Lake Buena Vista course today. About to do the back nine uh, for another course vlog. Um, played the first nine, I shot a 39. Uh, putting was terrible. I had, t I had uh, 21 putts on the front nine, so definitely a weird. So I have to give you guys a little bit better experience uh, this side around and give you something good. Um, so here we go. Stripe the first one right down the middle. Oh yeah. So here we go. Starting off to a good, good start. Man, I really pounded that. These D Disney courses are pretty cool because uh, they give you uh, tailor-made clubs. They give you free range balls. They give you two sleeves of golf balls. It's just amazing. It's really good customer service. It's a hundred bucks. Hundred dollars. Can you believe that? For all that. And then the, one of the guys I play with they even gave him shoes. So it's it's a great. And the courses are in amazing condition. Um, it's been a lot of fun. So shout out to the Disney courses. Um, it's beautiful down here. 80 degrees. It's cold up in New York. Uh, it's awesome. So it's starting off really well. Another one right down the middle. Sometimes this game gets a little boring, I tell you what. <laughs> Even though I hit it on the heel and it was like super low, but we'll see if it rolled out quite a bit. This course isn't that long anyway, so if you hit something like that, it's good. It's really narrow though. Definitely narrower than Magnolia yesterday. I personally think this course, course is probably harder. The front nine was super narrow, uh, but yeah. You guys saw there, it's another par, another par. So, so even right now, oh, I'm crossing the road, don't wanna get hit. Even, going on to hole number three on the back. Hitting the ball really well right now. Putting pretty decent actually, so hopefully keep it rolling. Par four, another fairway, bobbed it right down the middle of the game. I'm hitting this driver good, this M2. Luckily, it's the same driver I just ordered, I just got in, really liking it a lot. It's cool getting a chance to play with it. The driver of the game even has the same shaft, so really excited about that. Um, but yeah, hopefully this hole can keep the trend going, still even par. Uh, man, I'm loving this course, I'm loving the weather. The weather is beautiful. Florida in January, man. Can't go wrong. Beats the cold back in New York. Another fairway, another par, two putt, not a very good approach shot. I was only 65 yards out after the bomb, and I couldn't even knock it very close. The weather's 
wedges I'm using are a little weird too. I only have a 56, that's eight. Uh, which they put like a five wood and a four iron, or a three hybrid and some other stuff in there that I wish they would just replace with wedges. But, you know, it's a generic bag, so I get it. Uh, but feel wise, that brings up a question. You know, the butter, what's more important, the butter or the driver? See, if you're hitting straight drives, you know, you can score. It's the same with the putts too. Sound off, let me know what you guys think. Here we go. Last hole of this vlog. What's up guys, just got back to the hotel room. Just wanted to do a quick uh, overview of today's round. Uh, so yesterday uh, I played really well. Today I feel like I played even better. Uh, I felt like I struck the ball really well today, especially off the tee. I hit, man, I hit almost every fairway or if I didn't hit the fairway, it just rolled out uh, into uh, the, the first cut. Uh, so not too bad. Um, and I really was really happy with that. Uh, overall, looking at the videos of my swing and some of the slow-mo uh, capture stuff I got, looks great. I still feel like I'm coming down uh, when, I, when I bring the cl club back. I feel like I'm ducking my head a little bit. Uh, that's been a problem of mine since I started playing golf. Uh, and, you know, it's been something I've been trying to have it. I've been trying to break, break for a long time. But overall, the goal of me shortening my backswing uh, is, is coming through. I see that. It's not quite as long as what it used to be. Um, and I really like that a lot. And also I noticed my hip turn. I'm trying to get my hips more open towards the target at impact. And, uh, you know, I noticed that today as well. So I think those changes are, are, are really nice. One thing I really noticed, and you guys will see in the course vlog, is a lot of my approach shots uh, were offline. I was still hitting greens, but they weren't really within the vicinity of where I'd like to hit. Um, and I think a lot of that has to do with me trying to be aggressive and, and especially that like that ducking motion um, You know once I think I get that uh, taken care of I think it'll be nice uh, I only did three holes this course vlog again just kind of keep the pace of play going here I uh, just let you guys know how I finished I finished really well um, I can't remember exactly what I shot. Uh, I have the tally on my phone uh, but overall, the point of the, uh, the vlog is just to kind of uh, show you guys the golf course and, uh, you know, how my swing, how I'm working on my swing and the things I like to do um, as a teaching professional uh, to kind of fix my own swing. Sometimes it's easier to fix the swing of other people versus the swing, your own swing itself. So I kind of look at it as a project and, and uh, a feel thing so I can relate to some of my students and hopefully relate to some of you guys too. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Urban Golf Life down here on the very bottom. Please subscribe to the channel if it's something that you like. I hope to do a lot more. Thanks for watching.